Diamond in Satantis Pataudry Studios, so a back four of Foster, Severin, Constantine and Mulgrew. Duff and Kerr into a midfield featuring McDonald and Aluko, with Tommy Wright partnering Chris Maguire up front. Stephen McManus back for Celtic, although he would give way to Glenn Lubins early in the second half. Scott Brown suspended, so a place in the side for soon to be out of contract Paul Hartley, with Aidan McGeady starting on the right of midfield and Shunsky Nakamura on the left. The commentary from Ian Crocker and Scott Booth. Foster. Hartley got a nick on it. And it's going to drop just wide. Won't go any better on this from Maguire today. In behind, poor defending from Celtic. Just one ball played through. It's a ball over the top. It just takes a nick. You can see that off Paul Hartley. That's why it finds Maguire, but from that position, he should be making no mistake. There's the return for McGeady. Turned away by Cotterine, but only to Scott McDonald. McGeady, who started himself off on the right-hand side today, getting involved, drops to Scott McDonald. Process. Scott McDonald. Decent progress. McDonald has picked out Aidan McGeady. Just why the Celtic fans around us thought that was sneaking in. It's a lovely break. All started from a cross ass pass that picked out McDonald and then he found McGeady. Scott Severin will take this. Tommy Wright rising. Aluko might just find an opening. He does. And he forces a pretty good save out of Forrest. Seven played the ball in. Again, far too easy to find a Luca there. Mulgrew whips in a beauty. Maguire! Aberdeen have the lead! And yet again, it's the Achilles heel of Celtic, isn't it? Dead ball situation. Yes, there's quality on the cross. Good movement as well from the striker. He gets on the end of this and he gets enough power on it. Maguire, the goal scorer. In the mood for another. Maguire! And it was saved, I think, by Boric. May have just been going wide anyway, but Boric didn't know that. And Scott Severin was at the far post, and that was a big chance to make it 2-0. Oh, well, Severin stretching, Harry McDonald, gave it to Scott McDonald, now Paul Hartley, fabulous effort, matched by a supreme save from Langfield. Much more like the Paul Hartley of old, timing his run really well, getting on the end of it. McDonald, going to go ahead, not giving it up, and nor is McDonald! Stopped by Langfield, McDonald coming back for more. And Aidan McGeady turns it over and Celtic fail to make the most of it. Celtic having to work so hard to create the openings. Aberdeen remaining compact. This will be some time to score. For Celtic, Nakamura in. Colwell. his own keeper. Communication wasn't there. Considine couldn't get enough on it. I think he's just trying to lift it over the bar. Actually, I'm not sure what he's trying to do. And Langfield with absolutely no chance. Boris has come charging out for that. It's going to go wide from the Maguire. Nervous moment for Celtic, though, and their goalkeeper, who's had an error screen season. Scott McDonald. McGeady. Naylor rushing into the box. McGeady looking to make it happen. Naylor! And that's a superb save. That's Langfield's second great save of the match. 
Tommy Mulgrew. Tommy Wright, he's in! Tommy Wright and a vital, vital challenge from Gary Colbert. Just as well, that man's got a bit of pace about him. He caught up with Tommy Wright, but what a chance that was to go back in front for the home side. Celtic's sixth corner. Nakamura, this cue from Kerr, which uh, could have presented problems for Aberdeen. Krosas does with that, and Hartley's header is duly dealt with by Langfield. Hartley for Hinkle. Scott McDonald took it first time! from Celtic, and just look at the movement shown by the little striker. Gets himself across the defender. Hartley feeds it out. Henkel feeds it back in. Lovely ball, just threaded through. And Scott McDonald knows exactly where the goal is. Another minute and a half or so for Celtic to negotiate. Scott McDonald might just get to this. He does. Can he score again? on his chest, gets in behind Considine and makes absolutely no mistake. A few tired legs at the back there for Aberdeen, but not up front for Celtic. First half, February.